What is going on everybody, it is your boy Nothing But Skills and today I'm bringing you guys another Division 2 video. Today's video is going to be focused on five things I think you guys need to know before you guys jump into Division 2. If you guys don't know, Division 2 releases March 15th and if you guys have the Gold Edition or the Ultimate Edition, you get access on March 12th, that three day early access. So depending on what edition you get, next Tuesday could be the first time some of you guys get to play the game. The full game, not the open beta, not the private beta, but the full game will be launching for some of the people who purchased the game March 12th. And then of course, for everybody else, March 15th. So let's get into those five things and talk about what you need to know before you dive into the Division 2. So a lot of you guys, once you guys get the game, you're going to be diving in and you're not going to really know what you guys need to pay attention to. So hopefully this video will give you some key tips, five things I personally think are going to help you. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is brand sets and weapons. So the main thing we're going to be focusing in on is matching up our weapon with our brand set. So each brand set has up to three main attributes and then it has of course a bonus attribute usually if you have a blue, if you have green, if you have purple, it has different attributes. But the main three attributes that you're going to have on your brand set will be unlocked by how many pieces of that brand set you have on. Now one thing you should pay attention to is assault rifle damage, rifle damage. A lot of times you only need to have one piece of brand set. So I know for sure SMG damage, you only need to have one brand set. Rifle damage, only one brand set on. And then of course assault rifle damage, only one brand set on. Now there is a brand set, the Providence set. If you have three pieces on, you would get an additional 5% weapon damage and that's for all weapons. So remember whatever your primary weapon is, whatever your secondary weapon is, you might want to have one piece of each for those weapons and that works with rifle damage smg damage and then assault rifle damage now for marksman rifle damage you do need to have three pieces of that set so that's the one set that you can't just do what i'm doing right now but the cool thing about that is you can have the three piece brand set that gives you that marksman rifle damage and then you can add one piece that has assault rifle damage if you want to have that as your secondary so whatever weapon you decide that you really want to use i would highly recommend you try to find that brand set put that damage on there and that way it'll make you hit a little bit harder in PvE and PvP. Now as you start leveling up and you start getting better gear, you're going to notice the purple gear is going to give you more attributes, the gold gear is going to give you more attributes, so you're going to have more bonus attributes with those purple and gold gear. And that's really what's going to make the difference between you hitting harder than someone else in the DZ or you getting melted by NPCs in the future when you're playing those missions on hard. So just be on the lookout for those brand sets that have that weapon damage that you want to use as your primary and you're going to see the big difference. Now let's get into the next topic I want to talk about, weapon modding. So the first place you want to go to Hello? to unlock your first weapon mods are going to be at the Quartermaster at the base of operation. You'll be able to get your muzzle there, your optics, your underbarrel, and then your magazine. Now these are not the only weapon attachments that you can unlock. You can also craft a weapon attachments. Remember, all weapon attachments are unlockables now and they don't require stash space. So once you unlock the crafting table at the base of operation, you can head over to this crafting table and this is where you're gonna be able to craft your weapon attachments. Now you can see I've already crafted a lightweight extended magazine, but there's also muzzles I can craft in there. But as you unlock these blueprints by doing side missions, you will be able to continue to upgrade your weapon. So like if we look at the side missions, this side mission right here is going to unlock a blueprint for the loud vent break. This blueprint unlocks a muzzle weapon mod that increases critical hit damage and decreases stability. So doing these side missions will give you the ability to get new blueprints. Now I've already done a couple so you're not going to see any more on the map but as you continue to unlock the map, you continue to do the story mode, these blueprints are going to be what you're looking for so you can have better mods for your weapons. If we take a look at this AUG, you're going to see that I have the extended mag on there. It has a magazine size of 30 bullets. I put the light extended magazine on there. It's going to give me plus 30 rounds and then negative 10% rate of fire. Now they did say they're going to work on the negative. That way it's not as bad because right now sometimes using mods aren't worth it because the negative outweighs the positive. The next thing we'll look at is dark zone perks. This is something that a lot of people don't know about and it's going to be really crucial and really beneficial for you to know about before you jump into the dark zone. Now as you start to level up your dark zone level, you will get these perks that are beneficial. So the first one at tier 1 for having DZ level 1 is going to be bag space. So it grants one additional contaminated item you can carry in that bag space. So that way you don't have to extract as often, especially because in Division 2, some of the stuff you get is non-contaminated and goes straight into your backpack. Now as you continue to level up and you get to DZ level 5, you can unlock tier 2 
and this has some pretty good perks so you have terminator 25 increase dark zone xp for eliminating other players we have sightseeing 25 percent increased xp for clearing landmarks then we have breaking the law 25 percent increased dark zone xp for surviving rogue timer so different perks for different folks now as we continue to level up and we get to dz level 10 you're going to see we have daily winner daily rewards from the dz safe house now once we get into tier 4 that's dz level 15 we have sleight of hand 10 percent reduction in time to complete rogue actions and then we have bounce back rogue timer is reduced by 10 percent as you continue to level up you get to dz level 20 20, we have Keeper, 50% chance to automatically secure one dropped contaminated item on death, which is really cool and I like it. Now as we continue to level up to tier 6, that's DZ level 25, we have Keymaster, 25% chance to acquire DZ keys from loot crates. We have explosions and then we have medic which are pretty much the same you have a 25 percent chance to acquire grenades or armor kit now as we get to dz30 tier 7 we have vanish and this is your nameplate visibility to other agents while rogue is reduced now the other one that counters this is x-ray eyes rogue nameplates detection range is increased now once we get to tier 8 which this is dz level 35 we have more loot additional rewards for completing dz alerts and clearing landmarks now we keep leveling up we get to dz level 40 that's tier 9 we have double daily this is additional daily rewards from the dz safe house and the next one is for you rogue guys daily rewards available in the thieves den so if you get into the thieves den you get a daily reward once you get to tier 10 that's dz level 45 we have keep it clean and it's 10 percent increased chance for contaminated item to drop now once we get to tier 11 which is dz 50 we have get to the chopper 25 percent faster extraction arrival time we have can catch me 25 percent faster manhunt bounty clearing we have on your feet soldier 25 percent faster revive of other shade agents while shade and then we have dark deeds 25 increased thieves den triangulation added to rogue actions so all of these perks are going to be crucial for you guys doing well in the DZ. Some are better for rogue players, some are better for PvE players, some are better for just rogue police. Just depending on what you want to do in the dark zone, it's going to determine what perks you guys put on. Now that we're in the DZ, this is the next thing I want to talk to you guys about. DZ is going to have the best loot and while you're in the DZ farming these landmarks are going to be something you're going to look for. There's multiple landmarks that pop up throughout the DZ as people clear them they go down and the other landmarks keep appearing now this is something that you really want to pay attention to because they have some really good loot not only from the boss drops but there are containers so once you clear the landmark you will get the notification that you clear the landmark it'll say landmark clear and that's when you want to look for these containers i'm going to show you right now in just a second landmark cleared. there you go so there is a container right here but landmark somebody spotted. had already opened it and they've already activated it so i have to wait for it to come back and then I can activate it but since I don't want to wait I'll head to another landmark and look to see if they have a crate there so we finally find another crate and look right here it has a triangle I can put over pick the lock as soon as I pick this because I don't have dark zone key it's gonna make me go white rogue but the loot that you get out of these are gonna be the best loot in the game as of right now I've noticed I've gotten better loot from these containers than I've gotten from the boss drops but that could just be all random. I don't know what the drop rate is, killing the landmark bosses versus getting those loot crates. But those loot crates tend to have the best loot, at least as of right now, in the open beta. What I have noticed as of right now, remember we only got to level eight, right? Level eight was the max. The best loot was in the DZ. Now, I don't know if that's gonna change once the raids come out, once the harder missions come out, will you be able to get just as good loot doing those raids. Now the final thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the Quartermaster, something a lot of people overlook, but the Quartermaster, you're gonna spend a lot of time there because of the perks and using Shade Tech to unlock those perks. The first thing you do when you get into the base of operation is you unlock the weapon slot. It gives you an additional weapon that you can use so you can run two primary weapons and then of course your secondary, the pistol. And you also wanna make sure you unlock the extra skill slot so you can have two skills. And then of course the rest is up to you but there's a lot of really good perks in here that you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of. They have the armor plates where you can carry more armor kits, so you can carry up to six total. That's a big difference, especially if you go on those manhunt runs. Then you also have more grenades you can carry. You can carry up to three additional grenades. Then more inventory spaces where you're gonna unlock your inventory space right here. You have more stash spaces where you're gonna unlock your stash space and then it continues to go on. One thing I really recommend you guys doing is head over to this on one right here where it has XP and this will let you level up faster. So if you can unlock this one, you can start to level up faster and you'll go through those levels a lot quicker. Now, 
There are a bunch of different really good ones in here. Everything from the weapon mods, you have your magazine, your muzzle, your optics, your under barrel. Then you have the one that gives you more items for deconstructing. Then you also have your resources. You have your bounties. This is going to let you unlock those challenging bounties that I imagine will give you some good gear or good weapons depending on what drops from those bounties. But this is where you unlock it. So if you want to get that one challenging bounty. And the final two are going to be loadouts and then of course signature weapon ammo. So I would highly recommend you guys get familiar with this guy. He's going to have a lot of really good perks for you to unlock. And then of course he has the skills. So once you're able to unlock more skills, this guy is going to be the guy you want to talk. So that's going to wrap up this video. I hope this was informative. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it answered a lot of the questions you might have not known. Remember the game comes out next Tuesday if you pre-ordered the gold or ultimate edition. So that is when most of the content is going to start to roll out more and more on this channel. I'm going to keep providing you as much Division 2 content all the way up to launch. I have a couple other videos that I'm working on. So make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. If you're not, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on. So when I do release a video, you guys get notified. Smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions after watching the video, use the comment section down below. Remember, if you don't see me in Dark Zone, if you don't see me in Conflict, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but goes out. <laughs>